Guys, I have a confession to make. I've been sitting on some gold. Aside from that gold, I have a story that will knock your socks off. If you're wearing socks and you don't want them knocked off, you might want to take them off now so you can do it on your own terms. But today's version of Corey's stories is not going to be a reenactment. No, ladies and gentlemen, I have the actual footage. You're going to see it just as I saw it that day. So please strap in and get ready for a ride. Corey the Ponca. Corey the Ponca. It was a warm summer day. I was just getting to work and I start to smell something weird. So I looked down and there was poop on the ground in front of our door. After a few moments of theorizing, like, how am I going to pick this thing up? This is disgusting. I don't want to do this. I realized the poop was, was large, but it was also too close to the door to be dog poop. I mean, dogs kind of tuck in and squat and they give themselves a little bit of space. There's no way that a dog would come right up to the door and poop. So it was human poop. The workday now was a secondary thought. Of course, I wanted to find out the answer that I'm sure you want to know already just hearing the first part of the story. Who pooped? My coworker held down the fort while I went back and searched the security footage. My thought was, okay, we're in a downtown area. It's a city. There are some homeless people around. Maybe somebody just needed to go to the bathroom. We have these kind of like two walls that stick out a little bit. It's a main road, but at night you could get some sort of privacy. So maybe this was just that person's toilet for the night. When looking on the camera footage, I searched through the entire night. I went, you know, minute by minute, almost watching this footage, trying to find when the poop arrived and when it was not there or when I saw somebody come by and I was just not finding out who did this. It was ridiculous. I'm looking through the entire footage. There's no way somebody did it during the day, but I had to cross my T's and dot my I's. So I went and I looked at the daytime footage and there it was. The moment I had been yearning for. Put this down, put this down. Ooh, these are heavy. All right, can't shit my pants, so I gotta pull those down. Put my ass right up against the window. That looked like some, some pee first. And there's the shit. all out even brought something to wipe with throw that on the ground thank god that wasn't there when we got there what it's who is it i don't know oh my god it's clear it's the lady it's the it's the bearded lady it's the bearded fucking lady took a shit right there that's the bearded lady yes that just happened the bearded lady pooped on our stoop, a stoop poop. But if you thought that's where the story ends, you were mistaken. All right, a few days later, we're back at it again. I can't watch it again. Oh, I'm watching it. Bearded lady, oh, take two. Oh, that straight poo butter this time. <laughs> Watch the wipe. It stays in the butt. It stays in the butt. <laughs> That's how she did it. And she's out. It stays in the butt. It stays in the butt. Have any truer words ever been spoken? I don't know. But what I do know is that this lady, homeless or not, 
was launching her butt shuttles on our doorstep on purpose with malice. Now, we didn't want to get her in trouble, but we had to knock her out. But first, it needed to be cleaned up. We didn't want her to get in trouble. She obviously has a lot going on in her life, or maybe nothing going on in her life, but either way, she's not gonna want trouble with the cops. Um, but we also knew that we didn't want her to unloose her caboose on our doorstep again. So we did call the cops and they spoke to her and we hadn't seen her again um, until the other day. She didn't poop on our doorstep again. I think that is past us, but she is back around. Now, my first thought is, I need to know the same questions that you probably have right now. And that is, why did she do it? Is she rude? She might have her own reasons. She could be a hero. We don't know. So we need to find out exactly why she did this. We need to find out her real name. I don't want to call her the bearded lady, or I kind of do because that's cool, but I don't want to do it in a mean way. Maybe she likes being called it and then I'll be cool with it. If she's not cool, I'll call her by her name. But we need to know her name first. We need to know where she lives. What is she up to? Why does she do this stuff? And I also know that you're gonna have questions as well. So if you're a subscriber, post a comment down below with your question. When I find her, I will interview her. I am making it my mission, so please stick with me. I'll give you updates on it on my Facebook, uh, Corey the Pond Guy. Instagram at Cory the Pond Guy. Follow those so you can stay up to date on this. If you're not a subscriber yet, click subscribe. That way you can post your question that you have. But thank you guys so much as always for, for sticking around and watching my, my story today. I like to thank to the moon. Nope, nope.